This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by TheJanitorialStore.com, the online community for cleaning business owners. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. I got a phone call from Steve the other day. He had gone into an office building that he'd never been to before for an appointment. He said he walked in and immediately noticed how filthy the carpet was, lots of stains and a really dirty traffic lane. So he thought to himself, wow, this is really bad, but maybe when I get in the office it'll be better. Well, he walked into the office and it wasn't any better. He said it's been a long time since he's seen an office this dirty, so much so that he just had to call and tell me about it. Now if you're anything like us, this is what you do every time you walk into a building. You observe how clean or dirty it is. It doesn't even matter if it's not the type of building that you clean, it just seems to be part of our DNA after all the years in this business. Is this how your brain is wired too? If not, it should be. I was talking with one of our members who shared a story with me. She made a routine stop into her bank and started looking around at how well it was being cleaned. She was a little surprised at how dirty it looked. Dust everywhere and visible soil that was really obvious. She asked the teller if they used a cleaning service and she said they, that she assumed they didn't. It looked so bad. The teller said yes, they have a cleaning service, but they weren't very happy with them at the moment. Well, needless to say, this simple question led to the opportunity to submit a proposal for cleaning the bank. Well, we had another member share a similar story. Here's what he said happened to him. I had visited our city hall one day and noticed stains on the carpets, fingerprints on the glass, no visible vacuum, and no finish on the floors. I then inquired with several city employees about the condition of their facility and found out that the current contractor was performing so poorly that the contract was going back out to bid in less than one year of the five-year contract. So I seized my opportunity, did my homework, and successfully bid on a $284,000 contract per year, all because I asked a few questions. Now how many times have you walked into your bank, your dentist office, maybe your financial planner's office, or any number of other businesses and really looked around? Are you checking to see how well it's being cleaned? If you're not doing this, you're missing out on a great opportunity to get your foot in the door. And chances are, if you've stopped in to do business rather than actually going there to sell your cleaning service, they'll be even more receptive when you ask that simple question. By the way, do you have a cleaning service? If you walked in and noticed the cleaning needs help, then it's very likely the employees and management of that business are also aware there's a problem. This is a prime opportunity to let them know you provide cleaning services. And if you're one of their customers, they just might ask you to come back with a cleaning proposal. Now I'd like to hear your stories about how you walked into a place of business, noticed the cleaning wasn't up to par, and turned it into a new account. All you have to do is go below the video at cleaningbiz.tv to share your comments. That's it for today's show. I'm Jean Hansen and I'd love to connect with you on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.